everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. We're going to do a little how-to video today. Uh, two or three weeks ago, I put out a B-roll video of a 1966 Ford Mustang. It was pretty popular, at least <laughs> as far as my channel goes. Um, and I had some good feedback and some questions around the transitions I used. So in the video, there was two masking transitions. So I thought, let's take uh, some time today and uh, learn how to do that. It's real quick, and we're going to do it in Adobe Premiere. Before we jump in there, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and of course, like the video. Okay, first off, I'm going to show you a couple examples of what a masking transition is. Basically, it's when you mask off part of your video, and then it reveals another clip behind it. Now, as you can see from these examples, uh, we always have something that has a fairly straight edge that is moving the entire length of the clip. Okay, you're going to want to bring your two clips into Adobe. You want your first clip, the uh, initial clip, on the second line here, and the clip that's going to be revealed on the first line. Uh, once you do that, you're going to come up here and you need to give this some room. So instead of setting this to fit, you want to shrink it down a little bit, um, depending on your video resolution, 4K, 1080, whatever you're working in, you're going to have to play with that a little bit. Okay. Now you're going to want to go to this first clip, the initial clip, and find where you want that reveal to happen. So we're going to use this post right here. And anything on this side of the post is going to show this clip, right? So we're going to find the frame that that's the first frame that will be revealed. So we're going to go back one where there's no reveal. We're going to take this clip and we're going to bump it up right there. Now with the first clip selected the initial clip you're going to come over here and you're going to select the free draw bezier once you click that this mask uh, transition is going to come down here okay you want to um, click each of these to create a keyframe that's going to be what the mask goes off of here you have a mask feather uh, if you want it to be a very harsh edge you can set this real low if you want to be more forgiving set it higher obviously the faster the object is moving in front, the uh, higher you probably want that, um, and it will help with the motion blur as well. So with those items selected, you're going to come back over here, and you're going to advance it one frame. So here you can see that the um, opening is there, right? That first little bit of frame, that's where we want this to start being revealed. You're going to come back over here, and you're going to select mask one, and you already have this tool so you're going to make four points you're going to make a little rectangle well not even a rectangle the first two points you're going to want to make have a straight line right on the edge of the um, item the, the post in our case and you're going to make a little box and there you go now everything's been revealed which is what you don't want so you're going to come over here and check the inverted box and now we're back so here as you can see when we drag that, we're going to see what's beneath it. Okay. So with all that being said, we're now going to set that first frame and you can always come back and forth. So we're going to advance it one frame and now we see this edge, right? Okay. And we're just going to drag these two items to match that edge as best we can. Also a key tip here is move this. So these two points are off of your screen edge that way when this uh, the mask uh, starts the animation on this mask starts um, it's not going to dip in here and cause some weirdness you can again you can always go back and adjust things frame by frame but it's easier just to set it off that way to begin with so now we're going to click the next frame and just like that we're going to move it now this doesn't take that long depending on the clips you're using how fast it's moving in front um, that type of thing However, it can get real tedious. Obviously, we're doing a very basic one here with a nice straight edge. If you were following, like if you were having a person walk in front of you, you would have to mask all these points um, with that person's back, which is not exactly a flat line, right? And so it can get a bit much. But just to show you how to do that, you can come here and you can make any weird little points you want, right? So we'll undo those two things to get back here. So. I'm going to speed up this video until we get closer to the end.
Okay, we are back and we are almost done here. Uh, total elapsed time with me yammering on is roughly just shy of six minutes. So as you can see, this really doesn't take that long. Um, also, as you can see, this is why you want an object to pass entirely in front, a little bit left there, in front of the uh, your lens, your camera. So you get everything done with. So let's take a look here. We'll wind back. We hit play. And there you go. And as you can see, there was a little weirdness right here. So we're gonna, gonna move that out of the way. And there you go. There is your first masking transition. Have fun with it. Um, some of the most fun ones to do uh, involve not only what you're revealing here, make sure you like push in on it. You can do all that type of stuff in post as well. Um, but it, it's subtle because it's transition, right? So some of them you want to stand out and be bold and some of them you want to blend in. It just kind of depends on what your overall video or what you're going for, right? If you're trying to mesh things real well, you want it to be real subtle. You want to really wow them with that next shot. Um, you know, you want to go with something bold. A lot of times you'll hear people say, look, if you're panning left and right, you need to keep going left and right in your next shot. Not necessarily. It all just kind of depends on, um, you know, what you're trying to accomplish. So good luck. I really hope you enjoyed this. If you have feedback on this type of thing, if you want to learn more about editing, uh, especially for beginners, because that's what I am, you know, please let me know in the comments below. I'd really like the support. Please subscribe to the video. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys later and have a good one.